Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com on April 19th, 2014. DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Look us up also in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. If you're a futures better on pro football, American football, in my opinion, right now, you need to stay away from the San Francisco 49ers. Understand the 49ers right now are hopelessly overrated. Only two teams, the two teams that played in last year's Super Bowl, the defending champs, the Seattle Seahawks, and their opponents, the Denver Broncos, have lower odds to win the Super Bowl than the San Francisco 49ers according to the casinos. In my opinion, the casinos are taking your money on this prop. Right? The Seahawks are a plus 550, the Broncos are a plus 600, the 49ers are a plus 700. Behind the 49ers are much better values. Teams like the New England Patriots at plus 850, right? The Saints right now are plus 1600 the Eagles and Colts are plus 2000 in other words 20 to 1 so if I were to bet on let's say the Philadelphia Eagles or the Carolina Panthers I would be getting better than twice the odds that I would be getting on the 49ers right now right well let me just say I hope you've been keeping up with the news. The Niners are falling apart, right? First, let's talk about the coach they're mistreating, right? And this is all one man's opinion. You know, Jim Harbaugh is an elite coach. Forget what he did at Stanford, which was exemplary. He takes a program in tatters had the Cardinal beat USC, got the Stanford Cardinal, a team that at times was a total laughing stock, into a BCS bowl. Forget that. Understand that Jim Harbaugh was a stud before he got to Stanford. Look at his full body of work as a college coach. Then he joins the 49ers understand what he's done with the Niners the last three years the Niners have made it at least to the NFC championship game think about it and of course just two years ago they were in the Super Bowl with a chance to win that game late so you're talking about an elite coach who, quite frankly, at this point, doesn't need the San Francisco 49ers to have a head coaching job. This is almost like Jimmy Johnson with the Dallas Cowboys in the early 90s. Right? You know, you understood that if personalities, and there were strong personalities, caused a disruption in that business relationship between Johnson and the Dallas Cowboys, you understood that Jimmy Johnson could just walk outside, leave that building, and several teams would be interested in him as their head coach. So it is with Jim Harbaugh. Right? You heard this offseason that the Cleveland Browns were interested in Jim Harbaugh. People know coaching talent when they see it. This guy's an elite coach. But there's a big difference, and I mean a huge difference, between Jim Harbaugh and Jimmy Johnson from the 1990s. Back then, Jimmy Johnson was the personnel guy, right? You know how elite coaches want a big say in the players they play, the players the team picks. That's why you have coaches like Chip Kelly. That's why you have splits like the Chip Kelly to Sean Jackson split. Because Chip Kelly, head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, has power. 
right? The personnel in the locker room is there because Chip Kelly wants them to be there, right? As Bill Parcells used to put it, right? You don't allow me to buy the groceries, but you expect me to cook the meal, right? Coaches want to buy the groceries and cook the meal. I don't care what they say to the press, right? I understand these guys are under contract. It's political. You know how these corporations work, right? So Jim Harbaugh has said some things to the press saying, hey, look, I'm content without personnel decision-making responsibilities, right? Sure he is, right? The 49ers have some corporate stooge, some suit, as GM. Believe it or not, this suit, who we don't know, publicly, right? You're a football fan. You know Jim Harbaugh. You don't know the corporate suits he works with. Somehow this suit is arguing with the head coach, the successful head coach of a team that was in tatters before he got there. Is there anyone watching this video who doesn't believe that Jim Harbaugh himself, by the way, a former NFL quarterback and a damn good one, his nickname back in the day was Captain Comeback. Is there anyone here who believes that Jim Harbaugh doesn't have an eye for talent? Isn't a risk taker of the highest order? Who, of course, had Alex Smith, a quarterback that got him to the NFC Championship game, and then has the courage, we'll call it, right, to shift from a winning formula to a possibly better formula in Colin Kaepernick because, of course, Jim Harbaugh wants the top shelf. He wants the gold medal, not the silver, not the bronze. So, of course, what do the Niners do? They have him saddled with some unimaginative GM. You know the type, right? Dante Whitner is no longer a 49er, for example. The powers that be with the Niners now, curiously, are messing with one of Jim's guys. Colin Kaepernick wants to commit to the organization. I'll tell you what, many organizations would jump at the opportunity. I know I have been critical of Colin Kaepernick at times here online, but let's face it, he's an elite quarterback, right? If Colin Kaepernick were available in this year's draft, we wouldn't be talking about who's the best, Manziel, Bridgewater, Bortles. It would be Colin Kaepernick. Right? Kaepernick has led his team to a Super Bowl. Kaepernick, quite frankly, was leading his team down the field in last year's NFC Championship game. Right? Let me just say, too, who did better against the Seahawks? The Kaepernick-led 49ers or the Peyton Manning-led Broncos? Right? That Seahawks team was a juggernaut. Colin Kaepernick held his own. Look at the rushing stats. Now Colin Kaepernick just wants to commit to his team and he just wants to get paid fair market value. Now I don't want this to descend into a conversation about how players are overpaid and stuff like that. You know what? There's a market out there. There are other guys at the position who are being Paid. Colin Kaepernick wants to be paid in accordance with market conditions, the status quo. From the side of the street I'm on, that's called a free market and this is a free country. Now you know the drill. Teams are looking for any bit of leverage they can get in negotiations. Right? I believe the winning teams understand that that's a poor move. You want to treat starters like starters. I believe you want your players to understand that if they do the job, if they lead you to a Super Bowl, follow that up by leading you to the NFC Championship game, that you're going to turn around and you're going to say, look, this is the market for quarterbacks. This is what we're going to give you. You know, this is what we're offering. When you receive that offer, you should say, you know what, this team appreciates me. Isn't that 
a good employment relationship? Now just imagine if you did the job and then you're in there ready to discuss a new contract and the team looks at you a player with market value Niners if you haven't figured it out if you don't pay Kaepernick somebody else will imagine if your employer looked at you and said you know what we're gonna put these contract talks on hold we understand we understand that you've led us to a Super Bowl that you got us this close to beating the current Super Bowl champions just last season but you're under investigation so we're gonna put these talks on hold what are you gonna think especially if that investigation is totally bogus let's talk about the investigation of Colin Kaepernick now I know TMZ is trying to get web hits by making this sound like you know black man out there raping some woman in a hotel while other NFL players are in the next room that's not what happened at all shame on anyone who reported that to the public or who hinted at that to the public I encourage everyone here to look at the facts of that incident what you're gonna see is that the people who called the cops were the players right the players called the cops the players right the more you look at this the more you realize that this might be a story that involves mental health right not sexual assault let me also say too that one would imagine that the Niners have good lawyers that the Niners would be able to in any contract put in language that would exculpate them from contractual liability if let's say an investigation led to some criminal judgment some conviction some verdict of any kind of criminal liability any kind of felonious conduct right there's no reason to stop negotiations here you can complete negotiations in good faith give your prized employee the benefit of doubt but at the same time contractually protect yourself just in case rightly or wrongly the investigation turns into felony charges and a conviction but that's not the path the Niners have chosen to take you know what the Niners have chosen to do just like they're not renegotiating Jim Harbaugh's contract even though guys like Chip Kelly now make vastly more than him and understand these renegotiations they actually save the team money in the long run. <laughs> right? I mean, they uh, do when you think it through. The NFL, the last time I looked, is making more money every year. Right? So you renegotiate, you lock in, and you literally benefit because the market value might go up in the future. So what the Niners are doing is they've decided, hey, we're not going to renegotiate with Jim Harbaugh. We're not even going to negotiate right now with Colin Kaepernick. Let's talk about another Niner, Alden Smith. You know, I do believe Alden Smith is a young guy making young guy mistakes. Right? Trust me. 9-11 is vivid in my memory. The issue of airport security is paramount, right? I don't support or condone guys showing up in airports claiming that they have a bomb. But please, let's understand one thing. Alden Smith did not have a bomb, right? Just, just food for thought. 
as he gets treated like a terrorist in the press just understand he's not a terrorist right this is a confused young man who quite frankly was tired of being profiled true story after 9-11 I used to travel more than I do now and you can see from my wardrobe I like to keep it casual uh, back then I used to wear hats and stuff like that I'm telling you that I went to the airport let's say out of four times this black man just happened to be the one person who they decided to completely search in a line of dozens of people in other words it, it reached a point where I knew you know I started wearing flip-flops I'm not kidding I still wear clogs I started wearing flip-flops and clogs to the airport because I knew the random search had a much better than 50 percent chance of including me in the random search even if I was there with hundreds of people right and so my point simply this you're a black man at the airport you don't have a bob you know what you have your plane ticket whatever carry-on luggage you have right they pick you out I'll tell you what if you feel persecuted if you're tired of getting picked out some days you're gonna let them know some days you're gonna say look man you know you're picking me out <laughs> you're picking me out look bad yeah that's right I have a bomb now, I'm not saying this is the right move I'm just saying understand that if you've been profiled enough some days you're gonna be upset about it that's all I'm saying well let me tell you I know to working stiffs like you and I the idea of making 9.5 million dollars in the last year of your rookie contract uh, sounds like a lot of money it is a lot of money but in the NFL with this free market with this salary structure with Alden Smith's level of production folks that's a bargain put another way if the Niners exercise Alden Smith's 9.5 million dollar option and then tried to trade him they would have a long list of suitors right because you can't be a dominant sack guy like Alden Smith and not have very high market value Alden Smith is one of the reasons for the 49er success he's a key player on that team right in this league where quarterbacks Breeze Manning both Mannings right Aaron Rodgers Mick Foles in this league where quarterbacks are picking you apart Tom Brady you need a guy coming off the edge who can rush the quarterback the value of such players is so great that we're openly speculating right now on whether Jadavian Clowney is the first pick in the NFL draft of course the Niners consistent with the terrible offseason they're having from the front office in addition to not renegotiating with Jim Harbaugh stopping negotiations with Colin Gabernick are rumored to be not interested in picking up the option for Alden Smith think about that right is this what you want from a team where you're only getting seven to one odds on them to win the Super Bowl next year don't you think Seattle which just signed Sidney Rice and Denver Demarcus Ware and others right don't you think they're having much better off seasons than the San Francisco 49ers I would make the argument that with the reciting of Vince Wilfork New England's having a better off season 
By the way, the team behind New England, the Green Bay Packers, isn't that where Julius Peppers is going? Let's just say the other teams that are highly rated by casinos right now seem to be doing much better than the 49ers. Factor in the fact that Dion Whitner, a physical presence in their secondary, has left the team, right? He signed with some other team. Factor in the fact that Navarro Bowman, a key player, blew out his knee in the playoffs. And you have a team that right now shouldn't be 7-1. to You know, if you only have a few dollars to spend, this isn't the team right now to take a futures position in. Let me just say, too, the way futures work, is if the team starts slowly, right? If any of these developments mushroom, let's say Colin Kaepernick loses his patience and just says, hey, forget it. Team doesn't want to talk to me during the offseason. They don't have to talk to me at all. I want out, right? If, if Jim Harbaugh continues this routine where he says, hey, I'm not interested in being a GM. And then other owners not just the owner of the Cleveland Browns, but other owners start to praise him. Right? I mean, don't you think right now an owner like Jerry Jones wouldn't leap at the opportunity to get Jim Harbaugh? Look at the Cowboy defense. Don't you think Jim Harbaugh would have that defense up and running? Let's get real. Also, let me just state the obvious. This NFC West, did you know that the team with the best record to not make the playoffs last year were the Arizona Cardinals? Did you know that right now, if you listen to wise guys online who talk about over-unders in terms of total win total, a popular wise guy play right now is to take the over on the St. Louis Rams. They see Zach Stacy. They see a team with a high draft pick. They see an excellent coach in Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher's led a team to the Super Bowl before. And they say, you know what? This team is set to do good things next year. So all I'm saying is, before you put a dollar on the Niners, look at the problems, look at the front office, look at the dysfunction, look at the division. Do you really think that this team should be going off at a plus 700 when the New England Patriots with Tom Brady are going off at a plus 850? When the, Indiana, when the Indianapolis Colts, who won a playoff game last year, with a quarterback named Andrew Luck is going off at 20 to 1 odds? You know what? The Baltimore Ravens have had a pretty good offseason. Would it surprise you to know that right now you can get 33 to 1 odds on the Baltimore Ravens? Why would I pay any casino to give me a paltry 7 to 1 odds on the Niners when the Niners, quite frankly, haven't even signed their quarterback to a long-term deal? and are talking about not picking up the option on one of their best defensive players. In addition to, of course, losing players in free agency. Who is the deep ball wide receiver on the 49ers anyway? How old is Frank Gore these days? Doesn't LaMichael James want out, according to reports? 49ers, as of May 19th, 2014, folks, you need to proceed with caution, right? This take is transitory. If you hear that the, Niners, that the Niners wisen up, that Jim Harbaugh resigns with the Niners and gets more personnel selection authority, if you hear that the Niners realize that if they lose Colin Kaepernick, they're not going to be able to quickly pick up Johnny Unitas. Right? They're not, you know, quarterback is a foundational position in this league. 
Quite frankly, you don't have really 32 starting quarterbacks in the NFL. Right? All I'm saying is, before you diss Colin Kaepernick, figure out how you would replace him. I don't think they have. Also, please, don't believe the hype on these stories. The bottom line is, hearing that some athlete is under investigation gets a lot of hits on websites. Right? Sells a lot of ad space on websites. In this case, that claim doesn't fit the facts. Right? So, be skeptical of everything, especially the 49ers. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here in the comment section to this video. Am I being too hard on the Niners? Because clearly somebody has them as a plus 700 right to win the uh, Super Bowl right are there other teams that we should be skeptical of where when you look at the team you see turmoil right breakdown in contractual negotiations the team hinting of getting rid of key players let's talk about those teams so the Philadelphia Eagles and I understand there's some who believe that they had a spectacular offseason Right, Jeremy Macklin is back, folks. Right, Riley Cooper is under contract. There are others who are wondering what's going on in trading Deshaun Jackson, who this New York Giant fan can tell you was an absolute giant killer anytime we played the Eagles. Right, who, quite frankly, is a deep ball threat, exactly the kind of deep ball threat that the Niners are missing. Right? Let me hear from you on the Eagles. Let me hear from you on the other teams. What exactly is the game plan in Washington? Let me hear from you. All of these NFL teams are on the table. Thanks for stopping by.